anyway. So, okay, well, uh, we'll see who else pops on, but um, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me today. We are, can you believe it's, uh, we only have, um, let's see, what is the date? It's the 22nd, so we only have eight or nine days left of celebration and September, of course. Um, so, uh, yeah, so only a, only a little short time, just over a week to get your orders in and get your free celebration goodies. And I guess some people have been asking or waiting, holding off on their orders, thinking that there was going to be a second round of products. Um, but um, they've done it a little bit differently this year. Instead of having it for three months, January, February, March, and then they did introduce kind of a second phase. Um, because they've divided it into, because they've got two months in January, February, and then two months now, there's no new products coming. Um, you know, we're done. So, um, so, so don't delay. Get your orders in so you can get some of those free goodies. And the only thing that's run out, I think, is that bedazzling paper. That's not available anymore. And they did tell us that that was while supplies last, um, and they thought that might run out. Um, so that's the only thing I think, but um, hopefully you stocked up on that early on in celebration when it was available because it's really pretty and be great for using over the over the holidays. Um, so today I'm going to go through the cards that we made in our card class over the weekend. It's very fun. And so we did a Christmas card and a fall card and then a flower card. You always got to have a flower card, right? So um, let me switch you down to my desk and we will um, get started. I'll show you the cards. Let's see here. So I forgot to turn off on to recharge one of my um, lights. So I'm hoping that I have enough light. I, I'll turn this one up a little bit. I think it'll be okay. I usually have one either side of my desk. Um, and I forgot to recharge the batteries and I just turned it on and it lasted for a few seconds and then it shut off again. So let me show you all the cards. Um, so this was the first one that we made, well, one that we made. And this is using the ex Expressions in Ink designer series paper. And I forget what the, I'll tell you what the die bundle is called in a minute. But so <laughs> this this ribbon's kind of got a mind of its own. But this is a fun fold and uh, kind of opens like that. And so I gave the option to do it with a, a ribbon or no ribbon. So you can just undo this. Because I have some customers that, that don't like doing things with ribbon. Um, so that's the inside and I left them to stamp what they wanted for the sentiment. So that's the one card that we made and this is sponged. I'll show you how we did that. And then we did this lovely, this fun card. So uh, this is using a fun technique that I'm excited to show you. And you'll, you, so you have to see how the, the background is made. So the first two cards I made were these two actually. Um, with the black heat embossing and then I thought oh, it'd be fun to do a fall color one with uh, fall colors and copper so then I did this one so I'll show you how to make this one and in fact we're going to start with this this one um, and then we did a cute penguin card and I couldn't stop making samples for this because I was having so much fun so I'll show you the all the penguin cards that um, so basically, I cut a bunch of designer series paper and card card bases and and then just kind of let people design their own um, scene. So there's lots of different ways that you can do the, the penguin. So I'm going to talk about that later. So that's the penguin card. So um, hi, Dana. Thank you for joining me and thank you. Um, yeah, so let's start with this card because, and the reason I want to start with this is because there is some heat embossing on here and I've had my heat gun warming up a little bit. So I will strike while the iron's hot or the heat gun is hot, <laughs> should I say. Uh, so let me grab the um, everything to make that. Okie dokie. All right, so let me bring in all of them to show you for just a moment. Um, well, actually, no, let me 
think how I'm going to do this. Let me start with the background. So let me grab my kit and I'll show you how I did the background. So this actually, I saw a card maker. Her name is Gina Kay. She's not a stamping up demonstrator, um, but she did this and I thought, oh, that's a fun idea. I'm going to try that. I do that quite a lot. I watch other card makers that aren't stamping up demonstrators because there's some very talented card makers out there. And then I'll I'll think now what stamping up products do I have that I could do that with or you know how could I do that with stamping up so what we're going to use to make the bank background is little ink spots now these come if you're a paper pumpkin subscriber these um, come every month with your paper pumpkin a different color and you can also purchase there's two other options you can purchase a pack from the annual catalog I think they're still in the annual catalog and it's a set um, a set of them in different colors and you can also um, move that a little bit so my face is not just half in there you can also purchase you see how I've made my own label for this one you can purchase uninked spots and then use by the reinker and color them yourself and um, with whatever colors you need so I do that if I'm missing a color if, you know I don't have it I can make one up and these are these are awesome for if you like to travel, if you have an RV, um, or if you you know lacking space in your craft room. These little ink spots are perfect because um, they don't take up too much room, and they're also really great for using with the Stamparatus um, because sometimes if you use a big um, ink pad, you get a lot of ink on the plate, uh, not just the stamp. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our background using the um, ink spots so I've got here old olive mango melody calypso coral oh here's the recycling never fails so he comes by when we're when I'm doing my life <clears throat> and <clears throat> excuse me Sahara sand what I did for all of these um, is I used different colors and then I put a little post-it note on the back for my class with which colors I'd used and that way um, uh, you know, people could either make their own, and I had a bunch of ink spots out, so people could either pick their own or they could um, copy one of mine. So I'm going to do the same as I did on this one, and I'm hoping that my reinkers didn't get too <clears throat> dry um, with everybody using them. But I'm going to start out with the old olive the, the, like, and the calypso coral, my two boldest colors, and do those first. And what you can do is you can just kind of press them onto a scrap of paper, a couple of times to kind of see how much pressure you need to put and and if there's enough ink in them um, it will stamp a little bit differently on here obviously but I'm just going to start and I'm just going to stamp them in a random fashion and kind of make this background I'm going to stamp some off kind of different angles um, and then I'm going to grab so that's old olive and it'll dry a little differently it'll dry a little lighter and then I'm going to take a lips of coral I'm just going to do the same thing. That's nice and bold. And we're just going off the edge sometimes. And then, and I can always go back to these darker ones. And I'll do some mango melody. And just kind of start to fill in a little bit. And... but you could use this for any time of year I'm doing four colors but obviously you could do and you saw on the butterfly you could do whatever colors you like now this is Sahara sand so I'm just going to kind of fill in some of the and you can leave some white spaces or you can fill it all in um, kind of however you like really I'm gonna mostly fill it in and don't worry about how it looks right now. Oops, because it's going to look beautiful once we get everything else on it. So that's how my background looks at the moment. Put my inks away. And the next step is to um, do some embossed images. So now when um, the first one I did with the leaves so it's using this I'm using this bundle 
um, the Gorgeous Leaves bundle, and this is the stamp set. And on this first card, I just used this leaf, and but on the full one, I used the three big ones. Um, and let's see, did I, what did I do with those? I forgot to grab those, so let me grab those quickly. And then these are the matching dies, which I use this um, die um, to cut out, die cut the, the leaf here. But I've got to grab the stamps, which are right here. Okay. So now on this one, this is using this stamp set, the Butterfly Brilliance, and this is one giant stamp. So this was really easy. Um, we just used the, our embossing buddy, and then I had this stamp set in the Stamparatus, and so it stamped the whole thing in one, one foul swoop, basically. But this one's a little different because um, it's individual stamps. So I'll show you um, how to do it so that make it a little bit easier so I'm going to just rub over with my embossing buddy and I'm going to keep my scrap paper here because I'm going to go off the edge a little bit and I don't want to get the Versamark ink on my um, desk so let me see if I can zoom in just a touch oops that's that's doing me let's zoom in just a little bit Okay, so I'm going to ink up my um, my first leaf, which is the big leaf. I'm starting. You want to start with the largest image, and um, then work to the um, smallest ones to fill in. And I'm just going to stamp off a little bit. And I'm going to ink it up again, and I'll stamp one kind of in the middle. And then I'll stamp one more down here. Now, the problem is with this Versamark ink is that you can't see where you're stamping. So what I'm doing is I'm stamping a few and then I'm going to um, get my embossing powder, my copper embossing powder, and put this on. And that way I can see where I've stamped. I'm not going to heat emboss yet. I'm going to heat, some heat emboss all at one time. Then, then I can just, I just have to be careful that I don't touch that. Then I can come in with um, a smaller leaf. And let's see, we'll do one here. And we'll do one like this. I'm just doing kind of random. Let's see, we'll just do those for right now. And again, pick this up carefully. I know there's one up here somewhere, I think. Is that where I did it? Yeah. And then I can just go in with a couple of the long skinny leaf. I know that's a maple, but I don't know what these other ones are. <laughs> The nice thing with this, um, these leaves are, I don't know if you can see, but there's like, like little um, dots around the tips of them. So you don't have to worry about stray little pieces of embossing powder getting stuck where you don't want them to because people will just think that it's, that they're supposed to be there. Okay, I think that's good. You could do some more if you wanted, fill in a bit more, but just for the sake of time, we'll stop there. Close up my embossing powder. Right, I'm going to grab my heat gun, and as I said, I've been heating it up, so hopefully it'll go pretty fast. So, and um, the, it's always, this is always the fun part, right? Oh, oh, there goes my dog. So it's my dog barking, but I actually have my grand dog visiting too, and he's shut in the bedroom with my husband at the moment, but I can hear him going too. Tally! Tally! Good girl, that's enough. 
Well, while we heat in boss, we'll hopefully she'll get that barking out of her system. So I'm going to heat it just a few seconds. Dana says it's fun to get techniques from non-stamping up demonstrators. Yes, I like to do that. Hi, Cindy. From the San Francisco Bay Area, so she's not that far from me. I don't know if you can hear me talking while I'm embossing, but... All right, so it's starting to go. I don't know if you can see that. So I don't burn my fingers. Almost done. Right. You can see that's lovely and shiny now so isn't that pretty that really that copper really pops so let's just work on the rest of the card here real quick um so i've got my card base and then my matte layer and i've got a strip for the sentiment and my die cut leaf that i already did so i'll just stamp my um sentiment quickly i've got that I'm going to stamp that in Cajun Craze. Now this stamp is from the ice cream stamp set. I forget what it's called. Is it Sprinkle Sprinkle something? or You know the one I mean it was in the um, it carried over from the last mini catalogue and it's got the ice cream cones and the, the popsicle. So I should have oh you know what I'm going to do first is I'm going to punch this I find it easy. I'm going to use my Banners Pick a Punch and I'm going to punch this first. Just flip this over to make sure it's centered. Not quite close enough. And then I can stamp close to the I should have a mat under here because it's photopolymer, but nice. I love this font on this stamp and it's nice and bold too. So, right. So that's all our stamping done. And then we'll just assemble this quick. So onto the mat layer. This is Cajun Craze. And this is just an eighth of an inch bigger, so it doesn't have much of a border. I didn't do a very good job there, but close enough. And then you need to decide which way up. You want it this way or this way? I think I like this way. So that way I can put it onto my card base the right way. Now I really didn't do a very good job sticking this on. It is a little bit crooked, but hopefully once I get the sentiment on and the leaf, nobody will notice. So if you would like to get a, a kit to make these cards, all you have to do is, is put a place a $30 order with me and I will send you a kit to make six cards. You'll have two of each design. So what I'm doing now is I'm just wrapping some um, linen thread around here. I'm gonna tie in a little bow. Um, and this 
card you could actually do with um, any image really that you had if you have another full set or pumpkins it would um oops my bow let's see if i can uh, yeah pumpkins or some other leaf images and if you don't have many ink spots um you can another alternative is to use our little tiny block let's see if i have one yeah this this block i have a christmas tree on here is almost the same size as our ink spots you see how they're almost the same size so you can actually do the same thing the same technique with this you just put it right down onto the um, i'll show you with cajun craze it's going to be a bit dark but all you would do is just you want to use light colors really but you would just ink it up and then and it's it's almost the same and um, you could even stamp it off one time if you were using a darker color so you can do the same technique with um, an ink spot um, I mean not an ink spot a small block if you don't have many ink spots so that's just an option for you so um, yeah, so this card you could probably, without even purchasing this stamp set, you could probably just come up and find something in your own stash. Now I'm just going to move the linen thread to where I want it, and then I'm going to snip off a little bit from the end. Make it just a little bit shorter. And then I'm going to, oh, I guess cut off my linen thread too. Then I will just put some dimensionals on the back and I'll attach my uh, uh, leaf. Maybe put one on the other side of the linen thread also. Yeah, Vicky, um, I wouldn't have thought. I wish I had come up with this technique, but I didn't. <laughs> like I say, it was a lady called Gina Kay, and she actually did butterflies, but it was like an individual butterfly image. Um, but I thought, oh, it'd be fun to try something different. So I'm just going to kind of layer this onto kind of how I think I'd like it, like that. And then I can just stick it right down onto that. And I'm going to, uh, this stem is a little bit long for me. I'm just going to, oops, trim just a, a little bit of that stem off. And then I'll just attach this right here. And then the only thing left to do is to put some um, embellishments on. And I'm going to use these really gorgeous um, embellishments from... Um, the new mini catalog brush metallic adhesive back dots and they come in um three like brass copper and gold and i'm actually i used all copper but one of my customers that came to class she did like one of each and i actually kind of liked how it looked so i'm going to use and that way too i just don't end up with all the the brass and the gold ones left so I'm going to do like a brass one and then a gold one and then a copper one maybe up here or maybe I'll do a couple more actually See what I'm doing there. Oops. One got away. Alright, so isn't that pretty? So yeah, this is a card that you can really a design that you can really have fun with and just so I'd love to see if you came up with some other other options of what to use. So anyway, that was card number one. So I hope you like that. What do you think? 
let me clear away my stuff and we'll move on to card number two. Let's see here, I'm going to make sure that I keep out the samples so that I can bring back them later to show you. All right, so that was card number one. Now let's move on to the um, to the flower card. All right, let me grab everything for that. So let me just bring those back to show you. Sorry, it takes a lot of organizing to have all this <laughs> stuff done for all these cards. So let me bring back these to show you. So I'm going to make the black one today, but I'm actually going to put some ribbon on it. Um, to show you. Oh dear. There goes the dog again. So we just tally. We, she's 12. She's, getting, she's almost 13. And um, we took her to get blood work done. Tally. That's enough. Tally. Tally. Tally, quiet. <laughs> so we took her to get blood work done and we found out yesterday she's got uh, a uh, kidney disease. So, poor Tally. So I'm sorry about the dog barking. And the, the problem is she's, she's going deaf and every little noise that she does hear, she thinks it's somebody at the door, even when it's not. So anyway, so this, let me show you the stamps and dies that, so this is the bundle for this card. Yeah, let me zoom back out just a touch. All right. Um, so artistically inked um, is the, um, the the bundle, and I used I just used this one die, um, and die cut that out of white, and we're going to do some sponging. So the colours I'm using, and I want to match. I pulled out the colours from the designer series paper, which is really beautiful. So I'm going to use um, just jade, and I'll open them up as I tell you. Um, Daffodil Delight and Pale Papaya and Polished Pink, which I really love. So I've got all my colours here ready to go and I've got my blending brushes. So I'm just going to um, start blending. So I'm going to do this large flower in Polished Pink. And so I'm just going to hold it down and I'm using a piece of scrap paper again. And I want to get it darker in the middle and just a little bit paler on the edges. And I, if there's some little white patches left, that's fine with me too. I kind of like that, Let's get that variation. So that's the pink. And then I'm going to do this other flower now if you're really careful and you do this on card base look how pretty that is you can actually kind of get a two for one if you do this on card base you can and keep it still in the same of course I've already moved it um, keep it in the same spot then you can use your kind of stenciled cardstock underneath for a separate card but we're not doing that um, today um, it is a little trickier because you do have to keep it in place and um, uh, it's just a little trickier. Anyway, I'm going to do this other flower right here in um, Pale Papaya. So I'll do that. That. And then... Um, these little, there's some little tiny uh, flowers, like one, two, three. I'm going to do those in Daffodil Delight. And I just kind of do little tiny kind of circles so I don't overlap too much. You are going to get some overlap into the other colors. And I actually don't mind that because it just kind of in introduces, you know, some new colors when you blend them. So I really don't mind. Um, and then the last one is the leaves with... Um, just jade and again I'm going to be try and be like fairly careful not to get 
too much onto the other parts of the flower but I'm not really that too concerned and if I don't get if I leave some white patches again that's fine too and it kind of looks a little bit messy at the moment but it'll look really pretty when we get it onto that uh, background so that's good so that part's pretty quick close all my ink pads up real quick And then it's mostly assembly actually from this part. So I'll bring in the rest of my card here. So I've got lots of pieces. So let's put these two. So that's going to go on there like that and see how pretty that looks. Um, so let's assemble the card or some of it. So I've got my piece of designer series paper um, here and this is really beautiful um, paper this is called expressions in ink and it's just really beautiful um, foiled that doesn't have any um, let me show you a couple of the other pieces quickly this is the piece that I'm running out I, this is my last pack I've got to order some more so I've got like kind of different size pieces this is the one um, on this card and then that's the back and then there's this gorgeous one with the gold vein running through it that's like that on the back so actually that's similar to the one that I'm using but without the foil and then there's this beautiful pale papaya and pepizabs one with the foil on it too and that one on the back too so and that's just a few of them so let's attach this see which way up do I want this I think I'll do it like this this just goes in the middle so you'll get in your kit if you order a kit from me you'll get a black one and then this um, pear pizzazz one also and these leaves I sponged in pear pizzazz instead of the just jade so they would go um, with the card base and then let's see what am I going to do next so let's do the fun fold part so you'll have a, um, a piece like this, and then you'll have this little tab that's got a score line through it. So what we're going to do is this makes the tab to kind of uh, swing in and out. So we'll put some adhesive on the back of the tab on just the smaller, the smaller part. And you could use tear and tape or liquid glue here or stamp and seal plus. And you just want to put it kind of in the center and with the score kind of lined up with the score line kind of end, lined up with the edge of the card, just like that. And then we're going to fold it in and put some adhesive on it. I know it's a bit hard to see because it's black, but we'll put some adhesive on this part of the tab. I think my... Um, my stamp and seal just ran out. Let me grab another one. This one looks like it's close to running out also. Oh, that one just ran out too. <laughs> and then we'll just attach this so that it's centered. And I kind of line up with the edge of the card. I'm kind of centered from top to bottom like that okay then we can put this piece on the inside to cover up um, this tab I know it's a bit hard to see on camera but got this tab here so I'm going to use um, this designer series paper to let's see let's grab my stamp and seal plus um, to attach this And that just covers that up and makes it look pretty. Then we can um, stick this in and you can, I'm not going to stamp on here now, but you can stamp um, on the inside. Um, make that look pretty. But this will go into here. 
Oops. I'm having adhesive challenges today. So I'll attach that. Right, now we just need to put on the front part and before we attach this to here, um, I'll put some ribbon on. And, uh, let's see, my ribbon is right here. So I'm going to use polished pink. On the other one I used pale papaya. And you want about, I don't have my ruler here, but you want about 22 inches of ribbon. So I basically I need to leave enough out the side here um, to tie a bow and then wrap it around about the same. So we'll cut off this. And then I just need to attach it to this part right here. So I'm just gonna grab some tear and tape and put that um, here and you could use scotch tape really it's just it's not going to show so you could use just anything that will hold the ribbon down and then we'll bring in this and now there's a couple of different ways you can attach um, this to here. You can just put some little dobs of liquid glue on the back and attach it. But you can also use your silicone mat and a sponge. I'm sure you've all seen this done before. We'll just take a little bit of liquid glue and put a little dollop on the edge um, of the silicone mat. And then you can use um, a little sponge. Kind of tap it round into the glue to cover and then you can just tap it gently on the back of your die cut like that and then you can just leave that to dry and then you can just peel it off with your finger so it's super easy and then we can, now you want to be a little bit careful we'll just set this on here you want to be a little bit careful um, where you place it because you don't want it hanging off to the right of the card too much. Um, so we'll do it. I'm going to take this. I just wanted to show you that you don't want to have it hanging off to the right too much. So we'll do it about, I think, like this. And then this can go on to. Here. We can tie our bow. I'm not very good at tying bows like this, but we'll see. Oh, not too bad at all. And then I'll trim it a little bit. I don't want to trim it too much because I want to leave it so that if the recipient um, can make it maybe a little bit smaller, if the recipient wants to retie it, I want to give her, her him or her, I'm assuming it's going to be a her that gets this. I want to leave enough ribbon so that, that it can be retied. Isn't that pretty? And then the sentiment is going to go on with. Um, uh, let's see, I have a little strip. I did have a little strip. Oh, with um, this Hello stamp that's from the stamp set. And I'll just do that real quick. I like Hello on the front of a card because you can just um, leave the inside blank and then. You know, it works for hello, thinking of you, hello, get better soon, hello, thank you. You know, you can basically use it. Yeah. So I'm using the double oval punch and then just put a dimension on the back of it. 
we're going with all pink today. And just set that down there. Oh, and some little embellishments. And then this card is done. So do you like the ribbon or no ribbon? Are you a ribbon person? We had about half and half. Some people, um, let's see, where am I going to put these? Some people did ribbon, some people didn't. that one and then here's the pale pizzazz Need to retie the ribbon on that one so that's card number two Kathleen says she likes the ribbon yeah I don't think it's pretty and she's off a little bit and it helps it stay shut because it's a, a, a fancy fold helps it stay closed a little bit better all right let's clear the decks from this one and then we've got our last card to do which is the penguin card right. just put those to one side and grab all my penguin pieces oh let's do the um, prize drawing before we go on to card number three so do you remember last week we made these easel cards with the strong of heart uh, stamp set and um, the winner of the drawing last week was Sue Miller Sugg. Sue, she's actually on my team. So congratulations, Sue. So I'll be sending you one of these. If you're watching, you can tell me which one you like best and I'll send it to you. So she'll be getting one of those. So don't forget to like, comment and share my post and you can go into the um, prize drawing. And uh, for you'll get one of each of the cards um, from today one of each design so three cards so that's a really good deal so make sure you yeah make sure you like comment and share so let me show you the penguin cards again and I'm going to make this one with you today actually to show you how fabulous the designer series paper is and it's free um, but basically you can make a little scene of um, you know however you like I gave lots of different color card bases and designed a series of paper and let people kind of put together what scene they wanted so um, let me show you that grab my stuff here so I'm going to assemble this one really quick because this is a fast one to do and then I'm going to talk about the other options with the um, penguin stamp and the penguin punch um, so let me show you the paper quickly though because the paper so the paper is in the celebration brochure which is here so as I was saying earlier there's not many days left to get this and see where is it here it is so with a $50 order you can get the um, this designer series paper um, free and I want to show it to you quickly because it's just so darn cute um, so this is one of them and you get these stripes on the back which actually I'm using today and so all of these images you can cut out to use on your cards so there's the cute little fox fox again and the snowman and this has the blue stripes and then you can see these are pr pretty easy to cut because um, they're you know they're simple outlines now this little penguin you can actually punch out also with the penguin punch um, he's the only one because if they've got a hat on then you would punch off the hat and that's got the green on the back and then there's three sheets with smaller images that you can also cut out but these are a little bit smaller so you've got this one and these guys the penguin on the toboggan 
um, and a polar bear and then um, these guys too and on the back these look like this I'll show you them all at once so the trees and the snowflakes and the so really fun um, papers so let's put together this one really quick and then I'll show you just some other options so I thought I would show you a card using the um, designer series paper because um, for that you you don't actually need um, the punch um, and the punch is actually um, out of stock at the moment but with the stamp set and the designer series paper um, you actually have um, lots of um, options oops as you will see so let's just attach this um, you know without even having the punch so now I have this piece now this piece um, is cut from the layering di dioramas and then um, I use the white velvet paper to cut it so it's actually really soft and velvety feeling and then I embossed it with the brick and mortar um, embossing folder because I thought it looked a little bit like an igloo um, so then I'm going to attach let's see which way do I want it I think I want it this way so I'm just going to attach that and I'll set that in the middle and then I've got my images that I cut out and I've already put dimensionals on the back of the two. Oh, and I forgot to stamp this so um, let's just do a few I should have done that first now what did I do with my okay so I used that little um, that little block that I was showing you earlier that had the tree stamp on it I don't know why I've done it now done with it now so anyway we'll just have to pretend that I stamped the background let me show you the other one so there's a little tiny tree stamp that I stamped the background let me see if I can find it real quick I put it in one of the other um... oh where is it no, 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 that's not it that's not it I put it in with a leaf card when I was talking oh there it is I found it I found it remember I was showing you with a leaf card how you could um, use the block so we'll just do a few even though I should have done it before and you get the idea oops Let's see if I can line that one up again there we go it's the nice thing about Photopolymer. I'll use this as a mask. Is that um, I can? You can line it up if you mess up the first time. All right. So that's not perfect, but you get the idea. I should have done that before I stuck this part on. All right. So now we can put these little guys on. I'll do my snowman first up here in the middle and then I'll do my penguin and fox so you get two sheet two of each sheet that I just showed you so you've got tons of uh, images that you can cut out and this is a really fun um, one of uh, one of my customers bought her son um, he's older um, he's like 10 or 11 so um, she bought him and he had a lot of fun making penguin these penguin cards so if you had kids you could have them help cut out the you know the images be good practice for them right <laughs> all right then I've already stamped the sentiment and let me show you the stamp set I should do that so here's the penguin paste stamp set so I stamped be cool be chill be merry but you've got lots of others you've got a happy birthday so some people made birthday cards if you've got a friend with a winter birthday that's um, you know that you can make them a birthday card seasons greetings um, and then you've got to the coolest friend ever and I like you a lotle um, and that goes with this sentiment it's like a little except a lot um, and then you've got all these cute images and I'll show you 
um, some more of those in a minute. But I'm going to get my mini dimensionals and just stick this. So I've got to figure out where I'm going to stick it because I don't want dimensionals necessarily everywhere. So actually I'll just put a dimensional on this end and one at that very other end. I think that's all I'm going to need. There we go. Be cool, be chill, be merry. So that was quick and easy. I know I'd cut these out ahead of time, but you could do that while you're sitting watching television or something. Just sit and cut out the images and then it would be super faster. Uh, Together. I'm going to use some of these little embellishments. These are silver and clear epoxy essentials. They're from the, uh, the annual catalogue. I'm going to use some of these little diamondy ones. Let me get my take your pick tool. Let's see if that's going to be easier. There we go. I'll put two in here. Let's see if I can get it straight. I've got one. I'm trying to get them to Enough. quiet down. Enough. Enough. Right, so that's that card. Isn't that cute? So let me just show you um, how I did these other penguin cards. Um, so this one, can you see how glittery the penguins are? So this um, one, I actually punched out the penguins. Um, the, pun the penguin punch um has these two um <laughs> i've made your dog bark now too right kim oh my gosh i'm sorry that's funny um so this penguin punch is hard to see uh not get the glare but it has two it has the body and then the front white area and then it has the little feet also um so i punched out the the black glimmer the back body with the black glimmer glittery paper and then I did the little bodies with that white velvety paper too and I stamped onto it now I did stamp these images twice and you can line them up because they're photopolymer because the white velvet um, paper doesn't take the ink quite as well as our cardstock so I did do them twice and then all these little hats and scarves and things um, and the presents and the balloons um, you have to fussy cut those because there's not a die for those but um, they don't take that long and then I stamped, um, there's this stamp right here that's like the hillside. I stamped that um, onto the die. And this is just regular cardstock, not the velvet. And um, did the trees and the greeting. So that's um, super cute. Yeah, the black glitter um, is fun. So if you get a kit from me, I'll send you, uh, I'll send you some of the, I'll punch out some of these for you and then you'll just have to stamp um, uh, the I can't do any stamping um, because that's again stamping up policy but I can punch these out for you as the punch isn't available it's supposed to be back in November hopefully um, but I'll punch some of these out for you include them in your kit um, and as well as some of the um, designer series paper for you to cut images from that but of course if you place um, an order that's $50, you can get your own designer series paper and make lots more. Um, so then there's this one. So this one, there's um, this stamp that just stamps the whole penguin um, um, body and then you punch him out. And he's easy to cut out too, very easy. And then I made little sunglasses because this is to the coolest friend ever. I made little sunglasses actually from um, the punch um see if I can get it so this part right here you just put in a little strip of um the glimmer paper um or black paper and then you black cardstock and then you can use Winkostella on it 
um, to make it shiny. So then you would just punch that out with that part right there. So that's what I did. And I used cardstock and then used Wink of Stella, but I thought afterwards it would have been cute with the, um, the black um, glimmer paper. Um, and this little guy is just stamped right onto the hill. Um, and then this one, um, this is a birthday card. And these little guys are just stamped and punched onto white cardstock. And then I stamped a couple of the little presents and the balloon and cut those out um, and popped them all up um, with dimensionals. And I did some presents inside. I got to find the cute little, has the inside of that one. I got to find one with a cute little, okay. So here's the guy with the little antlers. So he's cute. <laughs> um, and then that's the one um, with the images from the DSP. Um, so yeah, so let me bring in, I won't have room for them all, but let me bring in, let me tie the bow on this one. So yes, if you place a $30 order with me and my, um, let's see, my stamping up my website is the top there and then use my host code right there. Or if you want to email me with your order, I can help you place it. Um, and you would get um, a kit to make all uh, six cards and you um, will also get the instructions so let me see I have the instructions right here you'll get um, a PDF um, I'll email it to you um, which has all the instructions and pictures of all the cards and then you can refer back to this Facebook live to see how they're made so there's those two and and then of course we did one with ribbon and then here's my um, let's see I'll clear the decks a little bit and zoom out and that way you'll be able to see everything so there's those two and then here's these ones leaf ones and then here's a couple of the penguins this little guy <laughs> so lots of fun um, now of course if you um, so you need to place a $30 order to get the card kit from me but if you place a $50 order um, you will get um, a celebration item also and I still have my cruise special going. So with a $30 order, um, I'll actually throw into it normally because you're getting the cards for free, you wouldn't get the embellishments, but I'll throw in the embellishments too. Um, so that's a really good deal along with the card kit. And then with a $60 order, you would get your celebration item and some blending brushes or designer series paper. And then with a $100 order, you'll get $20 of product and one to two celebration items. The $60 order and the $100 order you need to place with me so that I can add on your extra items. Um, and then every order of $30, um, for every $30 spent, you go into the raffle um, to earn a, a baby boss, the little mini stamping, emboss, stamping cut and emboss machine. So yeah, so that would be a really good deal today. If you place an order today, you'd get the card kit um, and depending on the size of your order, lots of other goodies too. Um, and we only, and we don't have much longer of September and my special and celebration and yeah. So, and then the holidays are gonna be upon us before we know it. So anyway, um, I hope you like the cards today. Which one's your favorite? Penguins, flowers or the full card? Let me know in the comments and um, I will be back next week. Let's see if there's anything else I need to think I need to tell you. I don't know. Um, but just have a good, great rest of the week. I will be back um, next week with another fun project. And thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate you very much and have a good rest of the day. Bye for now.